Peter, and it's been a brand new year, and for some that means new investments. The Powerball jackpot is at $440 million for Wednesday's drawing, but there may be better odds to invest in Bitcoin. Hmm. Joining us now for more from the stock swoosh is Melissa Armo. Good to have you here on New Year's Day. Happy, Happy New, new Year. year. Happy New Year. Year. Yeah. So, so let's break down the numbers. I mean, you've run the numbers. You know which one's a better bet. Take it away. Well, it's one in 292 million odds that you would win the Powerball. <laughs> so sure. really, like it's a lot. great, yeah, great like chance. Yeah. <laughs> so the bottom line is the odds are not that good for the Powerball, but it's $2 for a ticket. So the risk to reward is huge little bit of money up front and the possibility of winning a huge amount of money and you know boom right away when they run it if it goes off wednesday night that's why it's gotten so big this has been running since november since the end of november nobody wins if it doesn't run on wednesday nobody wins it could run into saturday i mean it could get up to be huge so if someone wanted to invest you know they're looking ahead at 2018 they're like i want to make a little bit of money maybe i didn't make enough in 2017 maybe you just want to you know get lucky on powerball or whatever so let's talk a little bit about bitcoin though so what the viewers at home need to know about that well a lot of people don't understand Bitcoin I was just talking to somebody about I don't. this yesterday so I'm one of them yeah. yeah it's really a trading instrument okay. right now people are speculating that eventually it's going to take the place of the US dollar and be recognized by governments at this point now that's not the case obviously but it's going up a lot. If you bought Bitcoin at the beginning of the year for $1,000, you could have sold it for $20,000 for one Bitcoin. The problem is Bitcoin's 13,500 right now today is the spot price for one Bitcoin. So that's more expensive, <clears throat> you know, obviously any, than any tips the Powerball. There? Any tips there for well, what you I would say you really got to know what you're doing with Bitcoin right. and you got to be okay with risk because it fluctuates. So right now, like I said, price is 13.5. It was up at 20,000. It could drop down to seven tomorrow or tonight and then go up again to 20. It's very volatile. It's the volatility of it that right. really calls people to question. I heard somebody describe it as it's basically like real estate on the internet and trying mm -hmm. to break it down. We like, have to be willing Bitcoin? to take risk. Yeah, right. I think there's better odds with Bitcoin talking com the comparison. Of course. Better odds you can make money with Bitcoin, but the payoff is not as great for the price. So sitting here power. today on New Year's Day for our amazing Fox and I, know, <laughs> I, I went to the same fraternity as Dr. Seuss. Um, so sitting here today, what do you want the Fox and Friend viewer to do? I would say that no matter what you do, whether you want to buy a Bitcoin, trade Bitcoin, or buy a Powerball ticket, do it with the mind that it's for fun, with the idea of taking risk. Don't, nothing's a sure thing. Nothing's a guarantee, either Bitcoin or the Powerball. So do it for fun. So real quick, we don't have a lot of time, but any last minute advice for uh, people heading into 2018 before, before we have to go? For, for, this, for the stock market? Just at large. Just at large, I would say. Make Want to make that your, green. Yeah, add to your 401k if you can. If you don't okay. have the maximum contribution, the market has been running up. And I would say let it ride. And if you're on any long-term investments in strong stocks like Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, let those stocks ride. It's going to be a good year. Are, tax you, reform. are you worried, though, it's a little bit too late to buy in because the market is so high? Or do you think it has more room to grow? If you're a long-term investor, it doesn't matter. So that's the nice thing. If it's going higher, it doesn't matter where you get in, get in, so then you get the ride up. That's what a lot of people think. A lot of people are saying that it's too late. But look, if you said that in 2016, look, you missed yeah. the whole year of 2017. We, we, we may need to talk after the show. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. We really appreciate your time. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Well, millionaire.